Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to put together some metal heavy duty racking. So this particular racking I've purchased off Amazon. It's actually three racks. I think it came to, I think around 86 pounds. Now I want to just store things tidily. Uh, I wasn't going to plan to do this video, but I thought I'll do it just to show um, how to actually put these shelves and racking together. So it should be pretty straightforward, but just a few things you've got to keep in mind when you're doing it. So that's the small packaging an entire rack comes in. So let me initially take all the contents out. I'll lay them out and then we'll get a start and put it together. Okay, so I've emptied everything out of the box is here. The box itself comes with a fair weight to be honest. Um, if you look at it around 18 kg in a small packet and um, this is the content. You get five shelves, uh, pretty thin MDF, not too bad I guess but obviously you've got to evenly distribute the weight make sure I guess it doesn't break. I guess you could put on thick chipboard or MVF, you know, just to strengthen it further, but let's just see how we get on. So this is the content. So you get some instructions, not too brilliant. It just gets a bit ripped, but still you, you are able to go through it. Pretty straightforward. You've got the, the side angled sort of uh, you could say legs which are these and then you've got the long strips which are just here and then you've got these which are the sides that go along there and then you've got these that go in the center to strengthen it a little bit more and some additional clips to clip two of these together so let me prepare one of these to put together and I can show you what's involved in this interesting task. Okay, so for one of the angle bits, the first thing you want to do, you want to get one of the legs, put it on one end, and to do this, you're going to need a mallet to be honest, so you don't end up damaging it. So there you go, the leg's gone on. So that's the first stage. So the next stage is let's get another one of these. But before we do that, we need the connector. Now this is the interesting thing about these. So if I can show it, the way it's got to go in, it's got to slot into that and then come out the other end. And sometimes what happens, it doesn't actually feed in that easily. So sometimes you need a screwdriver to help you. And one thing I was missing when I was doing some of these initially is the fact that it should sort of slip within that and it's actually popping out. So a bit of an irritation when you're doing it. So this one's gone on quite well. See that one's gone in straight, that one's gone in straight. So the first one I did, a real fiasco to be honest, you know, a lot of them went in. It's only after I finished I noticed them actually popping out. So it was actually coming out there. So the thing to keep in mind when you're doing this and let's get the, the top bit in there so if I just hold it like so it is possible to do it single-handedly you don't really need a hand with it but always useful to get a second pair of hands helping you so there you go that's how it sort of slots in Okay, that's how it slots in and you get the full height. So one of the recommendations I say when you do this, don't put the top on straight away. Just wait until you're finished. Okay, so I'll repeat this for the other three legs I've got for the sides and I'll show the next stage. Okay, so we've got the four what you could call legs set up now. 
So the next stage is to get some of the actual side bits in. So the ones we're after at the moment are these. So it's the ones with the little slots. Let me show just the slots here. So the first stage would be to get the lowest area in first. Okay, so here's the side bit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna place it in the lowest area here. So it would be just here. So again, you've got to make sure it slots in correctly. So if I just place it slightly in place. And show again, you know, if I can just position the camera a bit better. Again, you can see the slots just coming down. So let me hit it harder with the mallet and you can see it fit into place. Okay, this has gone in well. Okay, slotted in nicely. So the next thing is, let's do the other side. There you go. Both ends are in perfectly well. So then we'll move on to the top. So again, we'll use the same method and put in another side bracket onto this and we secure it. And then I'll line it up with the existing shelving and just make sure they go into the same position. So what I want is a consistent row. So if there's anything like long pieces of wood or anything like that I want to put in there, I can do it in quite easily. So let me prepare that and the other two in a similar way and then I'll show the next stage. Now sometimes, as I mentioned, when you're knocking this through, what you may have to do is put a screwdriver in there and just widen it slightly so it pushes this out. So when you knock it in, um, she slides in correctly. So this is one instance where it was um, it was drifting away and it was popping out. So obviously you want to keep it in the slot to keep its strength. Okay, so the two side bits are now built and you see all the shelves, shelving sizing is all there as well. So the next thing is, we need to put the straps in, take one end to the next. So, I'm going to take these longer pieces and we'll start at the bottom and knock those in. So let me position the camera and I can show you that. Okay, so we're going to do the bottom one first. So we just position this correctly and we'll just try and pin it in. Okay, I think this one hasn't gone in correctly. Let me turn it just to check it. No, nope, all good. So let me carry on and do the bottom bit first. And then we'll connect it next to the other one. So now if I spin that around. Get it in position. OK, 
okay that looks correct as well so let's move on to the next one this one is here it's slotting in correctly perfect so next I'll do the top two and then I'll progress on doing all the other ones and then I'll show the next stage okay let's guide this in so I'll knock it up slightly okay mallet and bend it a little bit more and then when I'm guiding it in maybe I can use a screwdriver as well okay so just move the camera out of the way to do this a bit easier so I've taken it out again it looks like the actual notch itself got a little bit bent so I straightened it up and then it went straight through so let me continue and do the others okay so the main structure is built now so the next thing we want to do is actually put the middle supports in so let me position the camera so we'll go in just there and what you see is a slot here a bit of a technique to this as well so the way i found if you bend it slightly more than it needs to be at both sides a little bit more yeah and then what you can do you put it into the slot like so make sure the, the other end's positioned as well get your screwdriver and pull it and then do the same for the other side And I'll just pull that one as well. So that's locked into place now. So let me do the others. And then I can show you the final phase. Okay, so all the middle supports are in now. So the next thing I'd advise, to be honest, if you're doing this, check every every slot and just make sure things have gone in correctly so good to do a quick quality control just to make sure everything's on track so i'd suggest do that next so i've confirmed all the slots incorrect are incorrectly and i've put in the actual uh pads up here the two there and now put the shelf and now I'm finally going to do the last remaining two so easier to do this last because sometimes they pop up make sure it's in place properly a bit tricky with the actual camera in my hand okay Final one, it's just there. Perfect. Okay, and then we'll put the shelf in. It's quite straightforward. Literally take the shelf, slot it in like so. Right. let me do the others and I'll show you the finish there you have the finished racking now just to show you all three that I purchased looks quite cool to this.
The other thing to note is, packaging came with these, and I think, it doesn't show what to do with them, but I'm guessing that this screws onto the wall, you split it open, and then I guess it can just slot around the back, you know, just to hold two of them together. But just a guess, to be honest, but I'm not gonna bother with that. Happy with what I got, to be honest. And there you go. I hope this is gonna help anyone attempting to put these metal racks together. And thanks for viewing. And don't forget to like and subscribe.